Hey, what is up, guys? This is Brad with Spike Fitness, and today I'm going to do something actually that we've never done before. Um, I'm going to review a video that somebody sent in and kind of give my critique and my feedback on, uh, on what they've done. So let's get into it. <laughs> this video and, uh, and record the, uh, the comment as I go. Um, so what we have here is uh, Will going for uh, a PR deadlift and he's got himself uh, strapped in and you know getting set. Um, one of the things I want to look at is kind of starting from the ground up and what Will does is a good job of is um, you know, getting his feet in kind of a, a decent position. I think it's generally kind of right under his hips, um, which is a good recommendation. Um, one thing that I often say to people is if I ask you to jump as high as you can, where are you going to put your feet? You probably should have a similar position uh, for your feet while you deadlift as well. Uh, because again, I think intrinsically, you know that you have power there. So Will does a good job of getting his feet in a decent position. Um, he gets himself set up, and uh, you know I'm not sure you know how well he's bracing, um, but one thing to consider is you know as you get set, big breath, big belly air, drive very hard um, against that belt with circumferential pressure uh, to have a nice tight core uh, and provide power and stability for the duration of the pull. Will uh, seems like he sinks in. Now, he, he kind of sinks himself into the, into the hole a little bit, which I think is a bit unnecessary um, because what you got to look at is the point in which the bar breaks the floor. Um, so when he sinks himself down and begins to pull or begins to kind of move, the bar doesn't actually lift off the floor until his hips rise to a, a sufficient position so as to create tension in the hamstrings. Um, so the recommendation there would, would be just put yourself where the tension starts instead of sinking in and trying to create that uh, you know that real that real sunk down uh, startup um, just get yourself in that position and kind of pull from there another quick error that I see on this is um, you know will uh, tends to at least in this video here he's looking over toward uh, his left and it appears as though he's checking to see if the bar if the weights left the floor um, for this, I would say, you know, don't be too concerned about what the plates are doing. Um, you know, focus on the task at hand and, and get yourself pulling. And then another critique that I have is it, it appears as though the shoulders are kind of rounded forward. Um, you know, what I would hope to see is he, that he's pulling those shoulders back. A, a description that's been used is try to stuff your lats in your pockets. Um, so it appears as though his shoulders are rounded forward and that back is kind of rounded and exposed. Um, which doesn't really put you into an optimal uh, pulling position. So I'd say work on that scapular retraction, pull those back as best as you can and create that, you know, create that nice tight back um, so that you don't have um, too much rounding in the uh, thoracic uh, spine. And then continuing the lift, um, he gets up to the knee and then you can see some hitching. Um, what I would say is some considerable hitching and trying to kind of force himself in under the bar and then kind of eventually gives up. Um, now, what I might do to, to kind of fix this, um, it appears as though, you know, the weight might be just a little bit out of reach. Um, a good portion of that is through technique. Uh, I think that you could improve your, um, your lifting performance by improving your technique to some measure, um, but also you can improve your strength. And one of the things that I would recommend is, you know, your ability to be able to drive your hips forward and what might help you with that. Um, is you know some some heavy pull throughs 
um, and you can kind of look that up online about what a pull through is but you can do pull throughs with bands or you can do pull throughs with cables and what that's designed to do is you know help create um, that uh, the strength to be able to drive those hips forward and drive your hips up and under you uh, during that deadlift so some heavy pull throughs or some some decent pull through work and then I also might recommend doing some some rack uh, some rack pulls so um, it seemed as though the point of failure was kind of right at the knee um, so what I might recommend is set up some some rack pulls uh, at or around the bottom of the knee and work on pulling from that position and you know forcing the hips up underneath you and getting into that you know that final deadlift position those are a few quick tips that I would utilize to try to improve this deadlift um, and I think that if you uh, kind of take those things into account you should see some measure uh, of improvement for your for your deadlift um, I want to thank Will very much for uh, sending the video in and giving me an opportunity to, to, to critique and comment on it even though I can't speak all that well right now and uh, you know I appreciate that so if there are, are any other uh, viewers friends whomever um, that want me to kind of take a look at the video and, and add my comments I'd be more than happy to um, I may or may not be able to fix your lift but I will give you my best advice and I uh, appreciate you guys checking out this video remember to like share and subscribe if you guys have any questions or comments, concerns, leave them below in the uh, in the comments box. And um, yeah, that's about it. Remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do or where your sticking points are, train to spite, ask for some help, and, uh, and get after it guys. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.